Hey, Richard Pickett here with a real quick video to show you how to set up your IP address. Now, why is this important for you? Because you want to brand yourself and you want this to show everyone that you have your own full domain name. So if you've registered your domain name, which is like yourname.com, which I do recommend that you always get the .com, then when you want to, people to just be able to type that in and come right to your website, you don't want to tell them it's like my name dot twenty now dot me, you know, because that's a little clunky and it doesn't establish you as truly a brand authority of yourself. So that's why you're going to want to do this. So in this video, you're going to see me. I already have a domain name registered. You're going to see me take the IP address, get that registered, and set up and we'll show that the domain mapping will then work. So let's go ahead and hop to it. Okay, so here's my dashboard. As you can see, it's already telling me I've got errors. In this particular case, the one we're gonna fix this time is it says I haven't mapped my domain name. If you click this link, the really cool thing is you're gonna to come to this video. I would love to click the link and just go ahead and show you the video, but I'm having to make it right now. So it doesn't work that well for me, but it will for you in the future. Okay, so in order to fix this error where it says you haven't mapped your domain name yet, you just hover over tools and come down to domain mapping. In here, it will show you the IP address that you need to set for your particular website. In my case, I've already logged into Namecheap, so I'm ready to go. All I'm going to do is highlight the IP address, right click and click copy. And where it says at, that's the root domain name. I'm gonna paste it in. And Namecheap goes ahead and puts www here. I don't recommend you use it, but you still probably should go ahead and put in the IP address there. Now, the other settings that you're gonna to want to take particular attention to if you're setting up your DNS is the MX setting or the, the mail settings here. Now, in my particular case, uh, I'm doing my mail a little differently, so I'm not going to set these if you're doing your DNS and your mail, you purchase that package from 20now.me, number one, you won't even be setting this IP address up because I do all that hard work for you. And number two, we take care of the email part. So you wouldn't even need to watch this video. So if you're watching this video, it's probably because you're using someone else to do your mail and that's totally cool. You will get these settings for the mail, the MX record and all that kind of stuff. You'll get that from them. It's not something I can give you or even help you set up because it's not something we're doing. Um, and once you put these up, so back, back to what we're doing, once you put these two IP addresses in, make sure that this says A address, so it's an A record for both of those, and then you click Save Changes. And for those of you that uh, may not be totally familiar with how I got here with Namecheap, all I did was went to the list of all my domains, clicked on this name, as a matter of fact, we can do it real quick, uh, so I, I go down to this particular domain. It automatically shows me the contact page and I went here where it says all host records and clicked on it. Now if you're set if you've got DNS set up uh, through someone else and you're having you know whatever it, it doesn't you don't have this option or when you go here it doesn't look like this, you just need to call Namecheap and they'll work that out with you. That's not something that I can help you with. Or if you're using GoDaddy or whatever, you'll, again, you'll just take this IP, you'll need to go where you edit your DNS settings with GoDaddy and put, plug that in. With each of these big providers like Namecheap, GoDaddy, and different ones, the big registrars, they you can call them on the phone and say, hey, the guy that's doing my website told me I need to set this IP. How can I do that? And they will walk you through the steps to do it. It's not something I can do for you unless you're paying me to manage all your DNS and your email for you, and then it's I, I can do it. Otherwise, um, I don't have the authority to do it. So again, all I did was went to the domain list, clicked on this particular domain, and went to all host records, put this in for the at and the www, and I'm done. Now, we after that saved, we go back. I'm gonna copy this, because this is the exact name of my website. I'm gonna go back and put this in the domain mapping spot. Now. If you've monkeyed with this and you got an invalid health status a couple times or whatever, it could be that the server's going to cache your old value 
and you have to wait for that cash to expire and it can take up to 12 hours from the time that you make your change like at Namecheap or GoDaddy or whatever until it actually clears out of the internet and it's not something I can just press a button on my server and make it clear out it's something that's out there in the domain in the DNS servers on the internet and we just have to wait so if you have had that error it may take about 12 hours for that to get fixed and then you shouldn't have the problem so all I'm doing now is I'm just going to paste in the domain name and click map domain it's going to go check on the health status and voila it tells me it's valid so now it's totally good to go if i go back to dashboard i'll see that it tells me it's properly mapped of course it's finding other errors that i'm going to have to go fix those are all corrected in other videos so again richard pickett here that's real quickly how you set your ip address so that when they type in your domain name they go to your website one thing that's really cool is if you gave people your website that it was like your name dot 20 now dot me when they click on that old link now they'll actually get redirected to your new domain name and they won't even see the 20 now dot me part up in their browser whatsoever because we've correctly mapped it and that's all it takes to do it i hope uh, this works for you if you have any problems again check with your registrar tell them the ip address you need to set it to um, and of course you can always check us out in the forums where we're happy to help. Thanks. Bye.